Reduce method is used to reduce array to a single value. Let me show you with example. So here we have marks array. Now we want to calculate the sum of all these marks. So first of all, here we define let sum equals to zero. Now we use for loop and here we can write const n of marks array. And inside this for loop, we do sum equals to sum plus n. Or we can write sum plus equals to n. And after that, we simply console.log this sum. Save the changes and see, we get here sum. So by using this for loop, we get each array item in this n. And then we add that in our sum. Now we can do the same by using reduce function. So let's comment out this code and we write marks dot reduce. Now here we pass our callback function. Here I am using arrow function syntax. Now here we get two parameters. First one is total and second one is current value. This total parameter is the same as this sum variable. And in this current value, we get a value of current item. Now if we want to set total variables default value, then we can pass it as the second argument of this reduce function. So this reduce function takes two arguments. First one is callback function and second one is the default value of this total parameter. Now inside this callback, we first console.log total and print this total variable and current value and print current value. After that, we simply return total plus current value. Now this reduce function always returns a single value. It can be string or number. So let's store that in variable called total. And let's console.log this total. Save the changes and see, first we get total to zero because we pass here zero and current value is 80. Then we have total to 80 and current value is 85. After that, we have total to 80 plus 85 equals to 165 and current value is 70. And then total to 235 and current value is 90. And at last, we have total 325 and current value is 86. And 325 plus 86 equals to 411, which this reduce function will return. So you can see how simple it becomes with reduce function. We no longer need to use this for loop or this sum variable. Now we can make this code even shorter. So I remove this zero from here. Now save this. And see, we get the same output, but now our first total value is 80 and current value is 85. So this starts from second step. Now let's remove this console. And we know that if in function we have only one expression, then we can remove this return and this curly brackets. See, our code looks very clean. Now here we did addition of the values. We can also do subtraction, division and multiplication. Now another example of this reduce function is we have array of shopping items which uses select and we want to show the total amount. So we use reduce function like this. Here in current value, each time we get object. So we return here total plus current value dot price, simple as that. 